You know, Serena, that... It looks good on you, but at the same time, it looks really weird. Because I'm not used to seeing that much of your arms. But... It... Walk over that way. Turn, 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 turn. I want to see this. See your butt. Look at the curve. Look at the curve of the ass. Mm. Anyway, I was just admiring um, my companion there. Hey guys, welcome back to Skyrim. We are going to beat this shit. Um, me and Serena are fully equipped, ready to go. I gave her my armor off of Verther that I managed to pick up. And I gave her that Night Weaver's Band that I didn't know what I was going to do with. And I went ahead and got my archery necklace, my ring, and I have Oriole's bow back. Wonderful. And as it turns out, we have a shit ton of elven arrows and some sun hallowed elven arrows. And apparently, I found this out. If you take these arrows and you shoot them at the sun with it, dudes nearby, it apparently does something. So we're going to have to try that out later. But first of all, I have these two daggers. I'm ready to go with my daggers as well. So I'm pretty much fully equipped. But first of all, I need to talk to Serena about something. Do you need something? You know, Verther was saying something about how vampire blood in the bow interact. It sounds like... That's the last bit of the prophecy. The blood of a daughter of Cold Harbor can corrupt the bow. Uh-huh. Well, you're a daughter of Cold Harbor. So I am. I guess we could use my blood. Do you have any arrows? Elven arrows? I'm not going to just bleed on any old thing. Mmm... I'd like to treat some arrows with your blood. Let's just get this over with. And now we have 20 blood cursed elven arrows. Now, those are special in the same sort of way that the Sun Hallowed Elven arrows are special. In that they will do a certain other type of damage and they uh, also have a secondary effect that I'm just going to go ahead and show you right now. The prophecy was that it blots out the sun, I think. Is this a good spot to show this on now? Hang on a second. The prophecy was if you take the blood from a daughter of Cold Harbor and shoot the sun, then the sun basically goes away. Well, that's only half true. It does something kind of like that, but... Here, I'll just show you. Let's wait a full 12 hours. Alright, there we go. Alright, sorry about the random delay. Um, it turned out it was overcast when I got to freaking white run, so I had to do a little finagling. Anyway, we're going to see exactly what happens when you shoot the sun. So first of all, we're going to use our Sun Hallowed Elven Arrows. These are the good ones. And that causes that to happen. What exactly is this? Well, it appears that all the guards are now on fire. Um, as a result of, uh, well, the sun going crazy and attacking everyone. Serena doesn't look to be too pleased with this development. Um, I wonder if I can shoot it again. I'm about to die, aren't I? <laughs> it's quite fun to watch, though. Like, it's a shit ton of explosions. You just have to be a little careful. <laughs> it doesn't designate friend or foe very well, as you can see. So that's the one effect of the arrows on the sun. Um, the secondary effect, and I'm going to see if I can get the same sort of weather conditions that we just had really quick. If I can outlast this rain. There we go. Right there. Right there. Like that. Let's get our other type of arrows. The blood cursed. Shoot them at the sun and see what it does. Congratulations! You've just blown up the sun. 
<laughs> but what this really does is it causes overcast. Um, if you ever want cover of darkness for some reason during the day, and me being a sneaky character, you know, that is very helpful to just blow up the sun. Now, this is not a permanent effect, and I'll go ahead and demonstrate this by fast forwarding time a little bit. Because as you can see, the next day, the it's sun's the air, perfectly fine it again. Won't be good for my crop. So, those are the two effects of the special types of arrows on the sun. These cause meteors that make everyone angry and cause a lot of death. And these blot out the sun effectively to give you a shroud um, sort of weather condition. Which is really cool yes. to have something that actually affects um, Skyrim's weather and natural, like, atmosphere. It is just amazing. But that's enough screwing around for now. Let's go ahead and get on with it. We really are on the cusp of beating the game right now. The only thing we have left to do is confront Serena's daddy and be like, Hey, bitch! Guess what I got? I got freaking arrows I can shoot at the sun. You screwed. You screwed, sir. So, um, I'm going to remove this marker. It's bother me if I don't do that. And go ahead and pull out my crossbow. It turns out I don't really need Oriole's bow right now. This crossbow hurts. It, it, I mean, it, it hurts. It does the damage. Sup is Ron. The bow. You have Oriole's bow. Mm-hmm. I've heard it described in tales, but I could never have imagined its beauty. We need your help. Indeed. The day hasn't been won while Harkon still walks Tamriel. But what of Serana? Can she be trusted to lift a blade against her own kind? Her own family? I trust her to do the right thing. I suppose that's as much as I can hope for. Let me address the Dawn Guard and then we'll be off. The men deserve to know that we finally gained the upper hand. Everyone, gather round. Come on then, we haven't got all day. It's time for a victory speech. For too long, we've allowed these vampires to poison the night and kill our people. Now, we finally have the means to strike back. We now have Ariel's bow. The gods themselves have favored us, and we must answer with action. The time has come to finally put an end to Harkon and his unholy prophecy. We will march on their lair and destroy those wretched abominations so they can no longer corrupt our world. This is our fight, and this is it. our fate. This is the time of the Dawn God. Kill the Come abominations! On. This is between the eyes for me. Fantastic. Fantastic. It's time we take the fight to their door. Yes, sir. Gather your things and rest well, my friend. We meet outside Castle Volkahar. Oh, boy. Here we go. Keep your eyes open. Okay, so they're all going to rush into battle. Let's see if we can talk to... No, we can't it's talk to Serene. To They're all pretty much going. And we're going to see all of these people at the final battle outside of Castle Volk. And I am going to try not to cause a lot of friendly fire. Which is going to be very difficult because there's going to be a lot of enemies up here. And a lot of buddies. But this is a pretty fun part. So onwards we go to victory. We got our armored trolls here. We got freaking Shadow Mirror. We got. Oh god. Well, this is gonna be ridiculous. And by the way, all those gargoyle statues. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's a something, isn't it? 
Where's Isron? Oh, here he is. We're done with this when none of them are left standing. Let's go. Yes, sir. Let's be sneaky. Is someone there? Oh, well, we saw that coming, didn't we? Back up, back up, back up, back up. Little bit of lag. Jeez. Hmm. I really don't want to shoot any buddies along this little way, but... <laughs> I love the cleric with his crazy, like, shield. let them clear a path for us. Get in a good shot if I can. There we go. Let's just run in. We can take the brunt of this force. Just stinks because once I'm inside the building, I can't shoot the sun anymore to cause giant explosions to happen. Oh well. Yes, sir. And I am currently hidden, so we can get a couple pot shots on these vampires on the far balcony. Hopefully. Oh, no, actually, I lied. I'm not hidden at all. Crap. And this is why I enchanted my bow with absorbed health. Eh. Stop moving, you twat. Got him. Kick their asses! I'm tempted to go werewolf form, but it probably wouldn't end very well. Alright, we're good. Take the hallway. Some lockpicks. I need to be looting all these vampires, because they probably all have lockpicks on them. Except for that guy. I see someone running around. I see their little dot up here. Hello, Kellen. <laughs> Serena totally ganked one of their dogs. That's great. I like it. How do these people freaking die? Oh, never mind. They're probably sort of some sort of experiment. I see. Excuse me, Mr. Troll. <laughs> yeah, having this cleric along with you is very nice. He is burning with the might of all the things. Oh wait, that's not even the cleric. I'm dumb. Freaking Isron. This is what's For doing red. For the dawn god. For Skyrim. For a second, I thought that was the cleric. And he had some sort of like giant damage shield going, but apparently not. No, that's a lot of freaking light. Oh, you can sleep in all these coffins. Ooh, that's cool. Okay. okay. So we need to hunt down and find Big Daddy now. For the dawn guard, for Skyrim. He's probably in here, ain't he? I see you still favor keeping a pet. You know why we're here. Of course I do. You disappoint me, Serana. You've taken everything I provided for you and thrown it all away for this pathetic Provided for me? Are you insane? You've destroyed our family. You've killed other vampires all over some prophecy that we barely understand. No more. I'm done with you. You will not touch him. So, I see this dragon has fangs. Your voice drips with the venom of your mother's in- mm, I wonder if I can just get a sneak attack on him while he's uh, doing the speech here. Hmm. How alike you've become. Don't talk about my mommy! No. Oh my god, I did get a sneak attack off on it! <laughs> oh, that's humorous. Okay, well. Um. Uh, 
Fight with Harkin. He basically teleports around the room like crazy. And goes batshit. And being able to get off that initial first attack on him is quite nice. Let's see if we can actually shoot. Let's help Serene out for a second, actually. There we go. I don't have very many of these arrows. I really should have gotten more of them. Shoot him with the bow. Yes. Ah! You son of a bitch. I only have nine more of these. E he just fell backwards off the stairs there for some stupid reason. Blah. Hey, with that. Crit strike! Crit strike! Oh no, run away, little girl. I got criticals out the butt. Only four more shots, though. That's not so good. I'm not giving you a chance to regen anymore, broski. But only two more arrows left. It would be really awesome if I get a sneak attack on him. But I'm not really counting on it. Come on. Oh, I missed. Oh, are you kidding me? Where the hell? Die, you son of a bitch. Okay, okay, okay. I can backstab him. Maybe. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, what a backstab! I think I broke him. Teamwork right there. Wow. That was awesome. That was good. Nice job, Serena. Good. Good. Alright. Let's loot him. Loot his corpse. He's got. Freaking black soul gem, potion of blood. Oh, yeah. During invisibility, vampire dust, magic suppression necklace. Ooh, that was pretty nice. That's pretty nice too. That's pretty nice too. Vampire royal armor, vampire boots, and Harkin's sword. We're gonna take all those. And we're actually going to put them on Serena, I believe. It's over. He's dead. And the prophecy dies with him. Hey, girlfriend. Well, now that's done. Yep. What will you do now? I'm not sure. I'll probably stay with the Dawn Guard for as long as they'll let me. They're respectable fighters, and I think they see the benefits of having a vampire on their side now. Of course, if you've got any more adventures planned. <laughs> I love to have you along. That's what I wanted to hear. I need to trade some things with you. If you think it'll help. Oh, I do. I want you to have basically everything he had on him. Uh, I'm going to give her Harkin's sword. I'm going to give her that royal vampire armor. Because I think that'll really help. And I'm going to go for those boots too, I guess. Let's see here. If I can make her equip... No. No, okay. Well, she might be just stuck with whatever then. No, 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 no. There's a way to make her do this. Okay. Let's give her this. And then give her. Now, does she automatically equip that? Maybe. Alright, let's see what you have. I'm not sure actually how this works. How equipping your followers works. Because 
Like, she just did it automatically when I get, gave her all these. Oh, wait a second, hang on. Yeah, alright. So she just kind of decides for herself what she likes to wear. Got it. Okay. And... So, she'll just hang on to that stuff oh, for us, I guess. It? Never mind. Alright, let's see what you have. And she does have Harkin's sword. I'm not sure if she'll actually decide to use that or not, but that thing... That sword is pretty amazing. I kind of wish I was a vampire just to be able to use that, because it's like all, like, katana-ish. It just looks badass. I love that sword. <sighs> anyway. But we really don't have a choice on that. Actually, we do. I could steal that from her. So now she has to use it. <laughs> oh, Serene is a freaking samurai. That's great. Well, let's talk to Isran really quick. So, the beast is destroyed. Not only that, but Ariel's bow is in safe hands. The Dawn Guard will now be dedicated to safeguarding it, making sure that prophecy will never come to pass. You serve Skyrim well. Even with these vampires gone, the fight isn't completely over. Once we're settled back in at the fort, there will be more work to do. We'd be honored. I... I suppose this is difficult for you. I think my father really died a long time ago. This was just... the end of something else. I did what needed to be done. Nothing more. I think perhaps. I think you did more than that. You have my thanks. And with that, I think we're almost about done here. Just want to make sure, yeah, there's nothing else in there. I don't really get this crazy altar thing he's got going. And I think we have a chest of loot just over here. No, we don't. Okay. Well, I don't know what this room is about then. As far as intricacies. But, guys, I've got to say this is probably the end of Dawnguard. We have not done everything in this expansion. There are secret little treasure troves, chests, there's mini bosses. Like in Soul Cairn, there's a um there's an optional mini boss that you can actually summon up if you want to. And he drops some really cool loot and stuff, but I'm not gonna actually film that on camera. I would prefer to leave some things to you guys to find on your own when um, you play through this uh, expansion at some point. And with all that said, I have got to say that this was a very fun thing to record. As for what's next, let's get indoors or in a kitchen. Um, anywhere, just out of it. I don't quite know. Thanks. Completely. I am going to probably say that one of the first things I'm going to do next is wait until the uh, expansion comes out. Because Dragonborn is just around the corner. Um, but, in the meantime, I think I'm going to go back and finish the Companions Guild and unlock the full potential of our, our werewolf form while we're waiting for that. And due to how heavily requested it is, I'm probably going to end up doing the new Dragonborn expansion when it comes out in December. So if you guys hang around, you might see me doing that. I'm pretty sure it's going to happen. And I'm not going to start a new save file. This, this character that I've got built um, is pretty much the dude. And he abides. He, he does. But there's one last thing I want to leave up to you guys, must be that and that is Serena. I don't have to keep her with me, and now that Dawn Guard's over, I wouldn't mind letting her go and just do whatever she wants. Um, but I wouldn't mind having her along either. I want to leave that a uh, choice to all of you, whether or not I keep Serena for... The rest of my playthroughs until I come across a companion that I like more. Um, she is freaking pretty handy and she's powerful as hell, so she's quite nice to have around. But aside from that, I really don't have much else to say. It was 
freaking fun time up in Castle Volk. And thank you all for watching and supporting my Let's Playing, as per usual. It is hard work to play video games. And... I, I, it's a lie. It's not hard work at all. It's freaking easy. But it's fun as hell to see all of you so happy with the things that are done. And with that, I think we're going to be done. And I will see you all next time on another wonderful episode of Skyrim as we continue our adventures. And, of course, reminder, tell me what you want me to do with this lady. We might keep her around, we might not. All up to you. Bye-bye, guys. I'm no fan of the sun. It would be better than this. Okay, we're not actually done. Um, I got back to Fort Dongar, and it turns out there's something very small, very minor, or perhaps very major involving Serena. I just randomly talked to yes. her on a whim, and... Have you thought about getting cured of your vampirism? No. Why? Well, look what you did. <laughs> look what it did to your family. Even before that, we weren't the most normal family. We did worship a Daedra, remember? Well, if you actually want to cure yourself, I will support you. I'll speak to Falion. I've heard he knows about these things. I'm going to go away for a while. I'll meet you back home when I'm done. I want to come with you. I know you do, but this is something I need to do alone. I'll see you again. Soon. Oh! Serena! Well, that... that was unexpected. I wonder if I can turn her into a werewolf now. Mm. Puppies.